Day one of making a Prince Rupert's drop in less and less water until it finally doesn't work. Since it's the first day, it's a full bowl of water, and I have to say, this drop came out perfectly. Day two of making a Prince Rupert's drop in less and less water until it doesn't work. I think we're still in the safe range, though. There we go. It looks like another perfect Rupert's drop. Heads of these drops are also hammer-proof. This is day number three, and this water's getting pretty low. It does appear that the tail is much shorter, but it does seem to have the same bulbous head as a regular Prince Rupert's drop. This is the fourth day, and there's just enough water to cover a full Rupert's drop. It looks like it's forming into one. The shallow water drop on the bottom has some irregularities compared to a standard drop. This is the final test in Day of Truth. The water's barely covering the bottom of the glass, so we'll see what happens. The top of the drop, still exposed to the air, is still glowing red. I move it around a bit to try to get every part of the drop to cool so I can take it out. The drop is multicolored with a flat bottom and round top, but it doesn't explode when the tail is broken, so it's not a Prince Rupert's drop. 